What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have just released a flashback player SBC and it is going to be your boy Douglas Costa to review today. Look at those stats man. I'm excited to actually do this review because the stats look incredible and the man has also got 5 star skill moves. So he has got 96 pace, 94 dribbling, 90 shooting, 92 passing with the 76 physicals as well. He is a 5 for 8 player with high medium work rates, 5 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. Obviously the 3 star weak foot, you know, is nothing crazy let's say. It's okay but the 5 star skill moves is something you do love to see. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, we are looking at the marksman chem style. The marksman chem style for me is literally perfect. Like the pace clearly doesn't need to get upgraded. 97 acceleration with 96 sprint speed is clearly enough. So you want to focus on that shooting, that dribbling, and that physicals as well. This guy going from 71 strength to 81 strength is going to make a big difference in game. So shooting, he has got 90 attacking positioning, 97 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 92 volleys with a 98 penalties as well. Well, and as far as I know, he does not have any shooting trait, which is kind of disappointing because if this guy had the outside foot shot trait, it would have like compensated very nice for that three star weak foot, but it is what it is. Now, his passing ability he has got 93 vision with the 95 crossing, the 91 free accuracy, the 97 short passing, the 76 long passing with the 98 curve as well. It's like a what do you call it? The player of the month Lingard kind of situation right here, where the short, pay, the short passing sorry, is very, very good, but the long passing seems you know not the greatest, let's say. Now his dribbling ability, he has got 96 agility, 95 balance, 89 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 84 composure. The composure is not as high as I expected it to be, but it is, I feel like it's going to be enough. But the guy's got five star skill moves with those dribbling stats, so he should feel amazing on the ball. Now his physicals, he has got 86 jumping, which is actually pretty good, but his 58 heading accuracy is nothing impressive. But he has got 90 stamina with the 81 strength and the 71 aggression as well. Now, when it comes down to links for your boy Douglas Costa, Brazilian, Bundesliga, and he plays for Bayern. So the links you can get with this guy is absolutely ridiculous. But I have personally gone for icons. Your boy Deco is making another appearance in another player review. And I've also got the likes of Carlos Alberto as well, just to get him on full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to the positions I am going to be trying Douglas in, it is going to be a 4-4-2 in that strike position. We're going to see how good that shooting ability and how good that movement actually is. But I do want to try and natural position as well in a 4-2-3-1 in that ram position but let's get into the games rba straight over to douglas give it to mbappe here gonna go for this scoot turn you know what i'm gonna wait for the perfect moment to go for that through ball hold up a second we have an opportunity of scoring a goal here can we oh my god how lucky no way varan actually recovered and managed to get himself another tackle that was well played from varan but it was a decent it was a good run from douglas costa and he did really well to actually get on the end of it Mbappe passes this ball up to Douglas. Gonna go for that turn. Fake shot. Flip flap. I didn't. Oh, I overdid that so, so much. I did not need to do that Lacoqueta cancel at all. But he's actually going to get the finish with that weaker foot, which was a de like very, very decent finish. I didn't actually expect that to go in. I even think that went under the keeper's legs. Pass it all the way down. Look at that run Douglas Costa instantly makes. And that's the run I need him to make. But Mbappe's ball is just not going to be good enough. But I do like how he instantly responded into the open space. Son to Douglas. I like his positioning there. Give it back to him. Well played. Little flip flap. Oh, my, no way. Oh, we did so well to actually get into the angle. But it was just unlucky when it comes down to the shot. Douglas is sitting on the edge of the box. And that's something you want to see. On that left foot day ago, we created the angle just with that like, what was it, like a 180 fake shot, something around there. And we created the angle by ourselves. Left footed finish. I really doubt he was going to miss that one. Give it to Mbappe. Maybe I can go for a quick one too. There you go. Going to go down. Going to try to reverse flip flap. I'm going to trust in it. Oh my God. I didn't even put a lot of power onto that either. I just had to trust into that two, into that, sorry, two star. The three star weak foot there. Because I felt like the guy was going to cover on that left foot. But clearly it didn't really work well. I'm telling you boys, I did not put a lot of power into that. And it literally blasted over the crossbar. Pass it down. Douglas is going to make that run through the gap. That's a really nice pass, by the way. Inside maybe. I'm seeing if my opponent maybe. There you go. We got him. We got him, boys. We can score this. Tight angle. Nah, I tried it. I tried it. You can clearly see, though, like how good his dribbling actually is and how precise you can actually be when it comes down to getting these like certain angles with him. Give it to his feet. Give it to Mbappe. That's a good. 
Oh, that's a good pass. I was about to say, come on. Going to continue going down. He goes for a slight tackle. No way. Referee, surely. I was about to say, I kind of screwed up the opportunity. But I had literally no expectation for the guy to go in just for like a slight tackle there. I thought he was kind of just going to stand me up. But apparently he didn't. But we got the penalty either way. Let's see if we can go ahead. 98 penalties. You best believe we're going for the chip towards the top bins. Come on. Where is it? There you go. It's not perfect, but it's near enough. Chip towards the top bins, and it's actually going to get saved. Things you hate to see. Pass it down. Continue to run down. He's not going to expect that. Look at the pace. Oh, my God. He's actually done super well there. Hold up. See if I can maybe create an angle. There you go. Reverse or... This guy's... Oh, I'm just trying to, like, kind of fool around with this guy because he wasn't really coming towards me there. But did you see the strength come into play? I'm honestly surprised how he didn't, like, completely kind of get shifted off the ball there. He actually fought for it a little bit and got on the end of it. Give it to Mbappe here. Costa, go for that dummy. Continue to run down. He didn't really do it well, but he's done... Hold up. Ball roll. Please. Oh, that's perfect. That is literally perfect. I was just waiting, literally just waiting for him to control the run so I can get it onto that left foot. Because trust me, boys, I did not want to shoot on that right foot. I have no confidence of shooting that right foot right now because of that previous shot where it went just straight over the crossbar. But what a way to actually end the game. The fact that I skilled up, what, like two or three people and just sent them the wrong way. Give it to him here. Well, I was going to dummy it, but I kind of want to go on a little skill run. Go all the way up. There you go. Go for that left-footed finish, and we're actually going to miss it. There is no way. No way we missed that opportunity right there. That's on the left foot as well. Costa, I'm looking for Mbappe here if he gives me the option. There you go. He's going to make a direct, a direct run. Maybe I can reverse here. That's nice. Oh, that's a good pass as well. Son. Oh, that's beautiful from Son. He actually sent Varane onto the ground. I was kind of surprised Varane didn't get that, to be fair, because he was very, very close. But what a pass from Douglas. Good touch. Good turn as well. I see an LBY all the way at the top. And look at that. Even though his long passing is not the greatest when it comes down to the stat, that pass was, <laughs> it was pretty good. Get that fake shot going, get that acceleration, get in front of him, use your strength to hold off the player, and we're going to trust into that weaker foot, and we are going to get the goal. This is the thing, right? Because we've got the marksman chemist on him, and he gets that plus 10 strength, you are going to use it in occasions like that. Give it to his feet. First time pass. Well played. Scoop turn. Play the ball. Oh, that's perfect. No. No. EA. EA, don't do it to me. How has he missed that? Literally, the guy's got what volleys? And he misses that opportunity right here on a first-time volley. Nah, come on, EA, you're trolling us. You're trolling us. But at least we got the rebound and we eventually got the goal. Pass it in the middle there. There you go. Give it up. Give it to Son. No, I was faking it. And we are just going to turn and go for the finesse shot. And this time, it's going to fly into the back of the net. And the power on that was literally beautiful. And I feel like the reason it was so accurate is simply because we did a finesse shot off like a volley. And in this game, if you do those kind of like volley finesse shots, they are pretty, pretty good. And they usually go top bins. Wait for that Douglas just to get in front of him. There you go. Oh, my God. Keep it going. Keep it going. Fake shot. You know what? I'm going to trust in it. Please? No, it's going to have some, like, really stupid animation. Like, what is that? Follow through. Why is he just, like, kind of kicked it with no power? Export all the way over to Nathan Ake. Douglas was about to make that run. We go for the flip-flap. I like we're going to cut back. Go for that left-footed finish. There you go. The guy has no idea, no idea where we're going. We're spinning left, we're spinning right. And because of how fast Douglas Costa is doing it, the guy pretty much had no chance. So it is time to review. We ended up playing two games with Douglas Costa. We scored seven goals and we even came out with a cheeky assist as well. Now EA have placed the price tag for this card at 300k. Do I believe 300k is a good price? I do. Not just because of his ability, also because of the links this guy gets. He's not like some crazy nationality that gets literally no links in this game. We're talking about the Brazilian nationality with players like Coutinho, players like Neymar. That gets nice links to this guy right here. So yeah, 300k, very very reasonable price. So EA, you clearly took a W on this one. Now, which position do I feel like is perfect for Douglas Costa? Down the line. Down the line, 100%. In that striker position, he was very good there, right? It's just, for me, 
it was a, in occasions where I wanted to go onto that right foot, but I knew with, with the amount of chances I was missing on that right foot that I was kind of forced to go onto that left foot a lot of the times. And I don't want to feel that in the striker position. I want to know that my striker can turn to the left and he can score. Turn to the right and he can score. And Douglas Costa, he wasn't that kind of player. So yeah, for me, down the line is 100% the way to go. Well, let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, 9.7 9 out of 10, 100%. As I said, He's not a player that is, you know, up to the level of like an Afonso Davis when it comes down to the pace or even a foot birthday Adama Traore, but he is an extremely, extremely fast player. So yeah, for pace, 9.7. Shooting ability, the fact that he can only shoot with one feet, one foot, sorry, makes it a little bit, you know, a little bit weird, let's say. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I probably would say like an 8.9 out of 10. If he had that four star weak foot, it obviously would be higher. Passing ability. Did you see the long pass this guy did? And it kind of shocked me in a way because 76 long passing is not anything, you know, crazy, crazy special. And that pass that he did, that's like a team of the year Bruno Fernandes kind of pass where it literally went so high, but it dipped so perfectly. So for passing, I am going to give him a high rating and it is going to be, I'll probably say like an 8.6, an 8.6 out of 10. Dribbling ability felt outrageously, outrageously good on the ball. And I love those five-star skill moves. Now, is he a player that feels as good as someone like like Neymar I don't believe so so for the dribbling it's going to be an extremely high rating because he does deserve it but it's not going to be a 10 out of 10 it's going to be I would say like a 9.7 out of 10 close very close but not a Neymar kind of dribbler moving on to the physicals you saw certain occasions that this guy was actually bodying players off but also shielding players off at the same time and that was something that really did impress me so for the physicals I am going to give him I probably would say I'd probably say like an 8 out of 10. I don't want to go overboard because I do feel like there was a lot of occasions where he kind of got pushed off the ball. But I like how he was shielding off a lot of players. But an overall rating out of 10, boys. I am going to give this card... Hmm. It's going to be a high rating because he does deserve it, doesn't it? You know what? I'm going to give him a 9.2. A 9.2 out of 10. The only thing that disappoints me on this card is that freestyle week for it's so so annoying and you saw in so many occasions where he could have scored a goal and we could have came out with like 10 goals which you know that shot just went over the crossbar it completely completely went right it went wide sorry so yeah for me it's just a freestyle week for you know that kind of lets the card down but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace